Hello everyone, my name is Saloni and today we'll discuss a question that will be helpful to you for all physics competitive exams. And so our question says, three 200 gram masses in arc connected by massless rigid rods. So they are massless rigid rods. Now to form a triangle, what is the triangle rotational kinetic energy if it moves at five revolution per second about an axis through the center, okay? So this is the axis. If this triangle is in x y plane, then this axis is in z plane. Okay, so something like that. Now, as these are massless, but these masses, three masses are, these have masses. So that's why the kinetic energy will be rotational kinetic energy involved for th uh, these three masses. And uh, so you know what is the formula of kinetic energy? Equal to half i omega square. So. What we do is omega for these three masses is same only. So what we can do is we can just find I for these three masses and put in this and omega we do the square and then we find the kinetic energy. Okay. So uh, first of all, we'll calculate the kinetic energy of this ball or you can say for this ball and you just multiply it by 3 to get the total kinetic, uh, uh, moment of energy and just put this in this equation, okay? So let's see. The distance from this, from this center is same because it's an equilateral triangle. So this and this lengths are also same and distance from the center is also same, okay? The distance is same. So that's why moment of energy of three these three balls will be same and so that's why we are we will calculate the moment of inertia for one ball and we'll multiply it by three okay now this is 60 so 60 for an equilateral triangle we'll draw perpendicular so this is we know that this will be half so this will be 20 centimeter now from this triangle you can see that cos is equal to 20 divided by r so r is 20 divided by cos 30 and when you calculate this you get 0.3 a 2309 meter okay so this is r now for moment of inertia i should be equal to this for this this is m into r square with the distance from center is r and for all of three balls will multiply it by three so this is three square okay so i is equal to three into m is 200 gram will divide by thousand to convert it into kilograms and r is zero point Two, three. Okay, here it's 20 centimeter. Okay, it's uh, 20 centimeters. So uh, this is in centimeters. So when you when we have calculated this, uh, we first what we have done is we have converted 20 centimeter into 0 0.2 meter. Okay, 0 0.2 meter, uh, and then we divided it by cos 30. Okay. So should we note here that we have changed our units into SI units for R. Okay, so we'll just multiply it here 0 0.2309 whole square. So this unit I is equal to this I when you calculate you get it as 0 0.0320. So 0 0.0320. And you know the SI unit is K meter square. So we have calculated I. Now for kinetic energy, we know the formula of kinetic energy is half i omega square. Okay, so half, now you know this omega is given as 5 revolutions, 5 revolutions per second. 5 and it's given per second, so it will be in revolution you have 2 pi radians and just it. We don't have to divide by 60 because it is per second. So this is 2 pi radians per second. Okay. 10 pi radians per second. So kinetic energy will come half into I we have converted as 0 0.0320 and omega is 10 pi so we multiply square it and finally our kinetic energy comes as 15.8 joule. Okay so this is our answer. So thank you for watching this video. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel to learn more about physics.